hi friends here we're going to evaluate the limit right uh, of this question let me read the question limit when theta tends to pi by 4 cos theta minus sine theta whole divided by theta minus pi by 4 that is 45 actually 45 degree uh, we need to find out the limit of this or we have to evaluate the limit of this right and uh, you know uh, in this question if you simply plug the value of theta that is pi by 4 what you will get here uh, whatever it is something right whatever it is here you will get here pi by 4 minus pi by 4 that is denominator you will get 0 you know and you know when whenever we get the denominator 0 that becomes an undefined value right some undefined value right so we cannot do like this so we have to solve something differently and in this type of problem uh, as we have already discussed we used substitution method right substitution method whenever we get some 0 upon 0 value whenever we get something in denominator that's 0 0 upon 0 form or infinity upon infinity form we generally infinity upon infinity form we generally sub uh, use the substitution method or another is al hospital rule right al hospital rule but here we'll not apply the al hospital rule and uh, next thing we haven't learned the derivative too that's why we'll be using this substitution method over here right so uh, let me solve this by the so substitution method so let me substitute as theta equals to pi by 4 plus h right now i'm just uh, substituting theta as a pi by 4 plus h right why i'm supposing this because when i will place in the place of theta pi by 4 so it will be pi by 4 plus h and then pi by 4 and pi by 4 will cancel and i will get the only h over here right and by solving all this i can finally cancel out this h or i may get some value in trigonometric standard form and then i can place that value it may be one or two or whatever it will be that that's another matter that we'll be discussing later right so here we have to suppose theta equals to pi by 4 plus h right whatever it is given when you suppose theta tends to 5 it is here then we'll be supposing 5 plus h if here is supposing uh, suppose here theta is 9 by uh, 4 then we'll be uh, here supposing 9 by 4 plus h like this right and where h is very very small very infinitely small you know very much small so when theta tends to pi by 4 right of course h will tends to 0 because i told you it's very very small so almost very close very close to 0 right so now uh, let me write the uh, problem and let's start uh, we, we discussed a lot about this right so now limit when theta tends to pi by 4 the question is cos theta minus sine theta whole divided by theta minus pi by 4 we need to evaluate the limit of this right so now next step limit now uh, when theta tends to pi by 4 now i'm writing h tends to 0 right when h tends to 0 and i'm placing the uh, or substituting the value of theta over here that is pi by 4 plus h so it will be now cos pi by 4 plus h right and again minus sine in the place of theta what can i write now pi by 4 plus h so pi by 4 plus h right and whole divided by in the place of again theta i'm writing pi by 4 plus h minus pi by 4 so what we got the benefit right here we can cut this pi by 4 and pi by 4 right so uh, let's let me do further limit when h tends to 0 now you know uh, this is uh, something like this see cos a plus b right cos uh, pi by 4 is working as a, a and h is working as a b so cos a plus b i can use this right so what what is the formula of cos a plus b let me write a little bit uh, yeah it is cos a times cos b minus sine a times sine b right we have learned this formula in trigonometry chapter right so now i'm using this formula over here so cos a that is cos cos pi by 4 times cos b that is cos h minus sine pi by 4 times sine h right we finish this part now let's deal with this part minus okay now again it is just working as a sine a plus b right 
sin a plus b. So formula of the sin a plus b is sin a times cos b minus sorry plus uh, or I can directly write here sin b times cos a right just just it gets extensed so now I'm just applying this formula over here so this will work again here as a a and this will work as a b so sin a that is sin pi by 4 times cos b that is cos h cos h right and again plus now sin b that is sin b is h times cos a that is pi by 4 right and this whole thing is divided by just pi by 4 uh, and pi by 4 are cancelled so we just get over here h right so again limit when h tends to 0 right now value of cos 45 cos pi by 4 right cos pi by 4 that is cos 45 because pi is 180 and 180 divided by 4 that is 1 for cos 45 that is equals to 1 upon root 2 and sin 45 is also equals to 1 by root 2 or we can also write sin 45 that is pi by 4 right so since uh, sin 45 is 1 upon root 2 let me place the value of this all and let me solve this right so cos 45 that is 1 upon root 2 times cos h minus again sin 45 that is 1 upon root 2 and this sin h so it will be sin h upon root 2 right this pi by 4 is 1 upon root 2, sorry sin pi by 4 that is sin uh, 45 is 1 upon root 2 so I just place here root 2 uh, in downstairs right again uh, I'm not writing the bracket just leave it let me leave now now sine pi by 4 that is again 1 upon root 2 times cos h right and then minus plus minus and this is sin h and cos 45 cos 45 is again 1 upon root 2 times sin h and then whole divided by this h now limit h tends to 0 now just observe this what you get 1 upon root 2 cos h minus 1 upon root 2 cos h so what you can do now yes you can cut this both right uh, 1 upon root 2 cos h and minus 1 upon root 2 cos h so what do you get over here now uh, let me write here limit when h tends to 0 right minus sin h upon root 2 uh, and again here minus 1 by 2 that is uh, sin h upon root 2 both are the same thing that's why 2 times sin h upon root 2 but minus because minus and minus it will be 2 right so minus minus plus but it will be minus over here and whole divided by h right so again what I can write limit when h tends to 0 uh, you know uh, uh, 2 is actually the product of root 2 times root 2 so sin h divided by root 2 whole divided by h now root 2 and root 2 get cancelled right and again now I'm here writing so uh, with this color fine now see root 2 I'm it's a constant so I don't have to take the uh, sorry limit of the constant so I'm, I'm just taking this constant outside so now it's limit when h tends to 0 sin h divided by h right now I wanna ask you something right what is the standard form of sine in limit are you remembering something yeah this is exactly going to match with the standard form of the sine in limit that is a standard result right that we have got you know uh, we have just derived it also that is limit when theta tends to 0 sine theta upon theta is equals to 1 right this is the formula so that's why now minus root 2 times this whole will be equals to 1 so times 1 that is minus root 2 so we got our answer right so like this we have to solve the problems right and I hope you understand this 
and uh, you know there are many kinds of problem like this where you may get something pi by 6 pi by 3 whatever you will get like this in all of this you have to use the substitution method right and then you have to solve I hope you enjoyed this and you learned this and uh, I really suggest you to go to my website that is skying right as k y i n g b l o g g e r dot com skying blogger dot com right there I have placed a lot of problem related to this right uh, this uh, limits and continuity and many more all about all the mathematics you will get there and especially I'm suggesting you to go to the limit point and see there are there are lots of problem and try to solve these all problems right and you'll really get good uh, knowledge in this chapter and if you feel any problem then you can mail me contact me anyway right uh, or you can comment me also I will try to reply this all okay we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye